when we have this magnetic north pole on the move. And we have an update here, finally. The last time I talked about that, they were mentioning putting out this new model. And here we have it. I'm going to zoom in here and take a closer look at where they're saying the magnetic north pole is. Right there where that white star is. And where you would see this right here is what they would call the geographic north pole, which is out in the middle of the ocean, the oceanic depression. And this raises a ton of questions, as I've stated before. And I'll get into that in just a second. But I want to look here at their model as they're saying that this is ongoing. The next update was due for 2020, but they went ahead and did some things here. Now, when we zoom in and we look here, we can see where it's situated. There's some things that I want to point out that I've said before that we've never got any answers for, and really I think it blows it out of the water in terms of what's going on. When you look at satellite data of our North Pole or of this planet, what they show you is a composite that has a black hole, oftentimes, right here in this region. This is in the Oceanic Depression. This is also the area that Admiral Byrd had spoke about. Well, if this area is giving us a black composite, and the reason for that is because of the magnetic anomalies, is what they've always said, which would mean this pole, not the geographic, the magnetic one. They've always said the magnetic flux above this causes satellites to fall out of orbit and out of the sky and everything else. That's why nothing can go directly over that north position magnetically. So if the magnetic pole was on the move, then that dark spot, that dark circle should have been on the move. And it's not. And it's not. It remains in the same place in the geographic location on our planet. Now, here's one for you. A little bit of homework that may blow your mind a little bit. You may be surprised to find out that many of the planets in our solar system have holes in their poles. And take a good look at our sister planet that no one ever wants to talk about, Venus. It has two holes at the pole. And it gives off these beautiful auroras and it pulls this energy down into the earth it creates this vortex into and toward those holes creating auroras at the, at the poles just like we see here on this planet but yet no one can get up here to do any kind of documentary or put out any kind of evidence showing exactly what's going on we do have military record and accounts, like I said, Admiral Byrd and others that have talked about what happened in Antarctica and up here in this region. But if their excuse is that the black spot on all the satellites is because they can't go over it and map it because they'll fall out of the sky, all this crap because of a magnetic anomaly, well, then it has to do everything with the magnetic pole. And that dark spot should have been where the magnetic pole is and it should be moving it should be moving if this is moving there's no excuse for why they would fall out of the sky going right over or not be able to pass over the geographic north pole if there's no magnetic variation there like it like there is here just my two cents on it i've raised the question many times they've never been able to provide any kind of answers for it because it's constantly on the move, and, well, now it's headed towards Siberia. At some point, you could probably expect to see some kind of magnetic pole flip. This has happened many times throughout history. Not a physical pole flip, but magnetically, and it can throw things into disarray here on this planet when it happens. Could be on the cusp of something like that. guess only time will tell further. I'm going to leave a link here. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for more as well. This has been Dabu7. Much love, y'all.